to my new video, and today we'll be talking about the Alekhine's Defense Spielman Gambit. Unlike the other Gambits we've seen, this Gambit is actually advantageous for White. Surprisingly, it leads to a couple of crazy lines where White wins with Checkmate. After e4, knight to f6, you have knight c3. This is the Elkhine's defense. And then after uh, the pawn pushes to d5, trying to push out the e4 pawn, the Scandinavian variation, the pawn pushes up to e5 after knight goes backwards. This is the Spielman Gambit, sacking the pawn for the sort of very open diagonal on this weak king. After d4, which you play, knight c6, knight here, just developing. Oh, by the way, if they did play c5, there's an interesting line where it goes knight f3, takes, takes, here, you go here, after queen moves here, you go here, attacking, you go, he attacks here, uh, knight, you check, after they block, you take here, this knight cannot take because it is pinned. He tries to attack your knight again. You move the queen to take the rook. After the pawn takes, b4. Brilliant move. Because if this queen takes the bishop, knight to c7 check. Forking the king, the rook, and the queen. And this is unstoppable, because you're still going to fork the king and the rook. And this is just winning. So after all of this, h4, bishop finchettos, h5, pawn to e5. Great move. Uh, if you're wondering if g takes h5, here, here, and queen here, and you have a very aggressive uh, position. These two, this bishop and this queen, not that there. The bishop and the queen and the rook are gunning down this side of the board. You will proceed to castle queen side, and you have a pretty decent attack. You could get the knight mixed in there. This seems very deadly. And white and black's pieces are sort of just stuck on this side, and your real only defense is an under-defended bishop and a once unreliably defended rook. This queen is gonna come here. The queen's gonna come here with check. After something like here. And then it's just gonna dominate after here, 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 check, here. And you have ideas of bringing this bishop over, and it'll be extremely hard to defend all of this. After here, knight takes, e takes, h6, bishop to e5, bishop to b5, and bishop to f4, and then you have a fork. After the knight rook moves, because if you try any other move, you just take the rook. Queen takes d6. Here, here. And then knight to g5. Attacking this weakened pawn on h7. After the rook, you just take. And if you're wondering why the rook... If... Why... The rook just doesn't go back here, per se. is because after this... You have a pretty strong position, and this rook just moved back. It was developed, but now you just moved it back. And now it's prone to so many ideas. If the king ever accidentally steps here, this is a fork. And then it's just not very happy for a uh, block. And you sort of get into this position where you're just completely crushing him. Okay, so after knight takes h7, rook here check. If you're wondering why I didn't take, here, 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 sacking the knight, h7, this pawn is unstoppable.
Bishop to b4, you block here, 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 and you make a queen. King to f1, only good move. Bishop to e6, you defend it. They take, you take, the castle. Uh, it's not a really good idea to try to, if you take this, well, let's see what the computer says. Okay, most of you know I hate using the computer. Oh, right, because after here, you just take, yeah, sorry. Uh, let's see, um, after here, g3. Knight attacks, thinking that he's gonna just win, uh, he's just targeting here, he's targeting here, pushing on lots of pressure, up to e1. It looks like a mistake, because he just left this open. Uh, but if they take the rook, you have a very, you get into a position that sort of looks like this. Or it's a bit crazy. Uh, with king to b8, it doesn't look a very natural move. If you do move king to d8, uh, so if rook takes here, 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 you attack the rook, pushing it away, you check. If the king doesn't want to go here, step out, you go king to e2, d4, pinning the bishop. And if they've tried to protect, you attack again. So after king to e2, bishop, h7, a5, you, you're wondering why they don't take this. It's because after, because this is just checkmate. That'd be funny. You take, and then it's still checkmate. Okay, after c4, after bishop to c4, they move. It looks like it's an accuracy. But you just kick away this, and then you kick away the rook, and then you attack the rook again. And you just take this rook, you go backwards, and black for the rest of the game is going to have to try and defend against this pawn. Uh, also, your opponent might not make these moves, but they're just the most general attacking moves. So now they have their own pass pawn, when you don't take. But... This bishop, it looks scary because it's knight here and this pawn will just advance. But you just attack the rook, you take the free pawn, and you block it. If you're wondering why you don't take it, if you take out the rook, that's just dumb because they just take with the knight. And if you try to take with the bishop, if you take with the bishop, uh... The rook just takes the knight here. After a king to b7, you have knight to e5. And then after a5, you check. It moves back. You attack the rook, covering this square and this square. It tries to attack, you just push. After the bishop moves back to g7, you have king to f2, and after the rook moves, you take, they take, you take the free pawn, moves back, you attack, and now this bishop is stuck there forever. It looks like you just blundered a bishop, but the thing is, you don't really have a bishop. This bishop is stuck there. And now you just go, see, this h pawn is the most nuisance thing known to blacks mankind. You attack, you just take that free pawn, and then you sack the rook. Because after this, you have a just, there's no way to stop checkmate. Now, back at king v7, there's a very interesting idea where black actually tries to go for the attack, but you just completely block it out, preparing to move to g7, now supported by this rook. So the, bish the rook moves, if you push g7 now, they go rook here, here, and then you just take this. It's not a problem. 
Rook H1 here. They take the E take back. And you protect this. And they try to leap for your pawn again, but it's just easily blocked. They think they're smart. And they you get a queen. After here, 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 here. There's no chance. Black's king will just be hunted down no matter what they do. Mate. So thanks for watching my game of, my Spielman's Gambit video and I hope you have a good time and I'll see you next time guys.